Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Join us on our trailer for our one-week Hong Kong trip where we visit top attractions including Hong Kong Disneyland, the Peak Tram, Sky Terrace 428, the highest viewing platform in Hong Kong, board the Star Ferry from Kowloon to Hong Kong, check out the latest malls and outlet shopping, and of course, dine at Michelin star restaurants in search of the best roasted goose and other foodie adventures. With its amazing skylines, breathtaking harbor, numerous tourist attractions, and vibrant food culture, Hong Kong is one of the most sought-after destinations. Welcome to Hong Kong. Cheers. Okay, we're up next. That ride was so exhilarating. I understand why that is the number one ride here in Hong Kong Disneyland. That's rate 7.68. I love this supermarket. There's even a handcrafted sushi and sashimi section. Guys, look at this. Quite a selection. Look at this tray for 268 Hong Kong. Wow. Wagyu Yakiniku. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? 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 Is the Avenue of the Stars? We made it back to the room. Oh, after all that walking, just need to relax. The hamachi sashimi comes with two soy sauces and two wasabis. Take a look at this geese over here. Oh. That is definitely the best goose we've had thus far here in Hong Kong. We are now at the Taichung Bakery. This is famous for their egg tarts and is considered to have the best egg tarts in Hong Kong. Regular egg tart, there's a milk egg tart, puff pastry egg tart, and a few of their other pastries over here. Barbecue pork pastry. So we got their original egg tart. That's a very nice glaze to it. Then we also got the puff pastry egg tart and the barbecue pork pastry. Smooth and buttery and very airy. The crust this is absolutely delicious. Just arrived at Yat Lok for one Michelin star roast goose. It's ultra tender, guys. Dipping it into their plum sauce. Crispy skin. 
just got right out of the oven. Extremely tender and juicy. I can understand why this goose is considered one of the best gooses in Hong Kong. Cheers, my love. Wow, what a bouquet of flavors. It's so rich and refreshing. Now we're at Tung Choi Street. This is known as the Ladies' Market. This is quite a pleasant surprise. I think this is one of their signature dim sums over here. With soy, chili. That was just done so immaculately. The inner inside wrap is like a very thin lumpia wrapper. Just so crispy and then you have the steamed rice roll on top. But tons of shrimp. Wow. That is a must order dish over here. Alexander wanted some gelato before going back to the hotel. The mall closes at 10 p.m. So we are at Mamma Mia Gelato. Yeah, is that what you're looking for? Uh, I'm gonna get some. Ooh, black sesame also looks hazel, good. Look, hazelnut chocolate is the one that I most got it. Maybe we should get Quite a good amount of uh, choices here. Wow. Okay, so Alexandra got the pistachio and the Ferrero Rocher. For my serve, it tastes um, really chocolatey. It's really a dream because I always liked Ferrero Rocher. You know, my parents always put it under my bed <laughs> for the tooth fairy. And then um, for the pistachio, it kind of tastes a bit salty and it's like a peanut. So what do you think? Would you recommend Mamma Mia Gelato? Definitely. And we are gonna have an absolute feast over here. Oh yeah, guys. This is gonna be so good. So this is a hand roll with salmon roll on top and this is one of my all-time favorites. Definitely a big ticket item, not as big as the tall. A little bit of wasabi on top, like soy sauce. Each individual egg is popping like magic. Taste of the sea. Mm. Yeah! Fish belly conjure. This is definitely one of the best bowls of pondi I've ever had in my life. And a must visit if you're here in Hong Kong. Cheers. Welcome to the hot tub time machine of the Royal Plaza Mong Kok.
How's the temperature, Alexandro? Very hot. Oh yeah, this is around 38 degrees Celsius. And we got this hot tub all to ourselves. Look at the bubbles coming out of here. Oh, yes. Oh my God, this is so soothing. You have seats all around. Oh, this is the life, huh, babe? It is like a sauna experience here in the outdoors. This is amazing. And we can't wait to try out their world famous eight kinds of Shalombao. Shalombao, 10 pieces original. Ooh, eight flavor Shalombao. Good amount of soup on the inside. Definitely has the Chinese. Uh, Sichuan peppercorns in there and wow, well, that's a little bit on the spicy side, but highly enjoyable. What a view guys, what do you think? It's kind of like you're in Japan. There's so many food stalls over here. We got kushiyaki over here, omosubi. Oh wow, look at all this. Oh, wow. Kobe beef. We just arrived at Tim Ho Wan. Quite a few people here already. I am also a huge fan of the vermicelli rice roll with shrimp. Come to Baba. Mm. Welcome back to the Moko. guys Yonki is a legendary institution for roast goose and their specialty here is their charcoal roasted goose. So we ordered half a roast goose and of course the best compliment for that, a cup of rice. Wow, I would describe this goose as very meaty, very moist, very um, succulent, it's very very and um, you know, I like the texture, it's, it's really nice. So take note, this is a charcoal roasted goose 
the the jus is just dripping out of it. This should be ultra tender, and because of it being charcoal roasted, it should give it a nice char. So they also have a special uh, dipping sauce here, which is their plum sauce, and it's known to be more acidic versus sweet. Mm. Wow, that is ultra tender. And that skin, it's so delicate, yet crispy at the same time. Oh my god. I am in goose heaven right now. Pagadang umaga po. Kumu sa po kayo. Quite a good amount of wontons in here. Look at that wrapper. That broth is divine. Savory, very light, and it's just tons of umami in there. And the dumpling itself, the wrapper is so delicate. Beautiful bite on that shrimp. Absolutely delicious. Another must visit restaurant here in Hong Kong. It's a Saturday night in Hong Kong and we're gonna check out the nightlife in Lan Kwai Fong. They got a live band, Hanoi band. For our late night dinner, we are at Chinese barbecue on Lockhart Road. We can't wait to have more goose and duck. On a very cute uh, Chinese dumpling snack place here along Wan Chai Road. It's open early and it closes late, so can't wait to try out some of the stuff over here. So we got spicy wonton, but I also asked for a non-spicy version for Alexandro. Uh, Chu Chow style dumpling, beef ball, uh, Hong Kong style sticky rice, and shou mai. Had a pretty cool operation back here. Well, I had a little bit of everything. I have to say I really enjoyed the Chu Chow dumplings and the glutinous rice as well as the spicy wontons. That view is just absolutely spectacular. Oh my god.
We just arrived at Harbor City. Oh. That shrimp broth is fantastic. So if you're looking for a ramen fix in Hong Kong, this is the place to go. Cheers. Something has my name on it. And it's over here at Versace. I have to get this shirt. Have it over here. From 8,000, it's now going to be 4,000 Hong Kong. I think that's a fantastic deal. I'm thinking this one is probably the best fit. All wrapped up. And good to go. The City Gate outlet shopping here in Tung Chung. I think this is the best outlet shopping you can do in Hong Kong and a must visit. Should be like top of your list. Look what I got. Versace, baby. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Please stay tuned for our full one week in Hong Kong trip coming up next. Join us on the Airport Express to Kowloon Station. The most convenient aspect of pre-booking your Airport Express tickets and just getting the QR code is you don't need to line up for your Airport Express ticket. You just have to present that when you exit the train. So we're exiting at Kowloon Station and we're going to take a cab from there. Thank you.